Good afternoon, this is Anka Metcalf with TradeOutloud.com. Welcome to the market wrap-up for this week and also the outlook for the following week in uh, October. Keep in mind, we have started earning season yesterday. The first stocks, uh, major stocks that reported earnings were uh, City and JP Morgan. We're also going to have a lot of financials that, were, uh, that uh, are scheduled to report in the upcoming days. Uh, also, tech stocks will be jumping on the bandwagon very, very soon, and that is going to create a lot of volatility into the futures market. Uh, trades may be posted even ahead of time. Trades may be posted even before the New York trading session open. There are a lot of companies that are reporting starting at 7 a.m. Eastern, the ones that are, re uh, that are scheduled to report pre-market and uh, we will uh, speculate on those uh, and that price action and on those moves so uh, let's get down to uh, Imini Dow and let's take a look at the overall market so as you can see here overall very bullish market weekly monthly very very bullish even the daily is very very bullish uh, we started the week with a move with a break actually of these prior highs at 750 we moved into the 850 about 100 points to the upside and now we're digesting this area right here now keep in mind that for the last three trading days we're not trading really highly above the yesterday's prior high which was around 840 um, so this area is still going to be a little uh, a little difficult to trade obviously we still have room and projections to the upside projections that we spoke about in the pre-market game plan today uh, that have not been reached in today's trading session a break below the 750 area can be seen as a possible pullback into the 650 uh, into the 665 and 650 area and also uh, it has plenty of room to pull back into the 540 and into this minor support area at 22400 this would be a steeper pullback that would violate the first area of support created by this 20 period moving average so this is what we have in, in uh, uh, this is what we uh, are looking at for next week's trading so once again if we break this 750 level this is an area where we will see a possible short even aggressive short below 850 uh, 850 this is uh, this is the area that we will monitor obviously this will be a possible swing trade uh, for the mini mini Dow. mini &E S&P 500 also created a new high, 2555.5 in the overnight trading session. Very, very sharp move to the upside. Four hours of continuous rally. Also, you can see the higher time frames are dictating more upside. Uh, however, they are a little bit uh, extended, not a little bit, but overly extended to say the least. We're getting a, a coiling action right here at 25, above 25.50. So now the new support is 25.48, the new resistance 25.55. This is the area that uh, is going to be on watch over 55. Obviously, we do have room to continue to the upside in the following week. But guess what, guys? If we break below 25.45, and I would say 25.45 is going to be the first area of defense we may have room to continue to the downside and the next target area is going to be most likely around 25 25 back again so 25 points to the down to the downside uh, in s p 500 if we violate this 25 40 area so this is the first area of defense that we will be looking at uh let's take a look at nasdaq and see what we have in store for nasdaq obviously very strong chart pattern we have a very extended move, obviously, like in all the indices, the monthly, weekly charts. Uh, also here on the daily chart, we do finally have this continuation that happened last week and with a grind this week here, you could see a lot of indecision here going back and forth, back and forth in price, trying to stabilize at the 6070 level. And that was a median line right here. Also, these lows from yesterday, the 6064 are going to play a major role in next week's price action. Uh, so far, one of the strongest in many right now, leading with 0.40% uh, to the upside, 25 points up. Uh, definitely a major leader in the indexes when we take a look at the overall uh, leaderboard. Um, a break below this uh, 60, 64, 65 area can bring more downside possible correction back into the 60, uh, 60, 27, even into the 6,000 level, which is a minor support areas for a minor support area from these prior highs. 
Last but not least, guys, let's take a look at Russell. Russell has been very interesting and has been uh, has been very, very choppy this week. I've added Russell to my watch list uh, in, in the last three to four weeks, and uh, actually it, it has been grinding lower. 1,500 is going to be the breakdown area. Uh, 1,518 is going to be the resistance area that we're looking at so far. So if we get a break below 1,500, we may see a correction. First off, we're going to look at, uh, at a correction all the way into the 1,480 area, and the other, uh, the other uh, support area comes at 1,450. So this is what we're going to be looking for, possible pullback. As you can see here, still very, very strong, uh, still very strong weekly chart. A lot of a few indecision, uh, quite, quite an indecision area here that we're, uh, that we're being left on the weekly chart. But if next week we're going to trade below 1500, uh, we ha still have room to go lower into the 1450. And this is our bias right now. Obviously, for the upside, we need to grind up above 1515 in order to continue higher. This is going to be the line in the sand that's going to differentiate the longs from the shorts. And let's take a look at gold. Gold had um, a quite impressive move in the overnight trading session and actually came in uh, this morning at 8 o'clock. Uh, and it's really having a very hard time reversing. This trigger came here on the weekly, pushing over 80 uh, over 80, that was the big move to the upside, it's, and now it's hovering into these prior highs on the weekly chart. Uh, 1300 is a big number for it, psychological area as well. There are a lot of traders that may see this area as a possible uh, as a possible target area. So we are not excluding a turnaround at this point. We have a crossover of 50 and 20 right here. So if the price is gonna sustain, it's gonna remain strong above, above 1300, then we may have another leg higher into the next area of resistance that is at 1318, 1320, and possibly higher back into the 35s and back into the 60 area uh, in which we were trading in September. So we do see some upside to it. However, this is going to be also a decision point if next week we're going to break below 1290 area then the more lows are going to be seen into the 1260 area last but not least let's take a look at oil and oil has been very very choppy lately not in the overnight trading session where you can see like a solid move to the upside so it was a really great time to be an Asian trader. If you're a day trader, um, there have been opportunities to leg in the trade, the 50, 80 area, a uh, very tight stop at this point into the 50, 60 area and beautiful continuation. Actually, the target was at uh, 51, 40 area, continued higher into the 51, 75. Um, like we've mentioned uh, this morning in the pre-market game plan, there is still room to run into the $52, uh, $52 area and $52.80. So these are going to be the targets. So far, we see here that we have quite a bull sandwich 180 rotation uh, that happened in CL. And if next week we're going to trade above the highs that we've created to, uh, today, actually, and this week. Uh, 5170, 5175, there is still more room to continue higher, 5280 and possibly 5266. And this is from the technical standpoint. Uh, this is all for now. Um, and uh, feel free to visit our website for more information about our classes and about our um, uh, future signal program. Uh, and for those of you uh, that are interested in a class, keep in mind that we have a new class that is coming up this October. It starts October 23rd to the 27th. And then we have a trading lab from October uh, 30th through November 3rd. So if you're interested in that, shoot us an email at info at tradeoutloud.com. Um, thank you for tuning in and for taking time from your busy schedules to uh, listen to us. And um, have a wonderful weekend. See you guys next week.